functions are the fourth programming pillars. They help us organize code, not repeat code, separate code, and use other people's code easier. Let's write some functions in C sharp. Okay, so we write a function. We write a static function. I won't go into details of static versus no static functions. It's a bit beyond the scope of this introduction video. So public static void functions always have public. It means that we can access the function from outside of the class. Static means it's a class function, not an object function. So it's the same for all the objects and we cannot have the this keyword inside it. And void means uh, is the return type of the function. In C sharp, you always have to put the return type of the function. Let's give it a name, show on screen with string some parameter. And we'll have this control right on some. Um, we'll comment this and let's say, sh oh, well, okay, not some, but some parameter and string, not string, show on screen, hello. If we run this, it will print hello. This is a function. This is the signature of the function. It has one parameter. You can have zero or whatever number of parameters. And this is the body of the function between the curly braces. Let's calculate the sum of the first 100 numbers inside the function. Public static int calculate sum of first numbers. We'll have a parameter until int i equals 1, sum equals 1, we are initializing our variables and we will use a while, while is smaller than or equals until sum equals sum plus i, i equals i plus 1, close parenthesis, return sum okay and if we call this function that's what it is we put the name of the function we say 100 and if we print what we get so the result of the return of an int method will be put into an int variable we have it here and we have it here we will put it in some list like this to be clear. If we run this, it will be, should be 50, 50, yeah. So the return keyword returns something. It should be the type that we declared in the beginning when we defined the function. And we can only return once. After we return, we cannot do anything else. But of course we can return more than once if they are not called. So if there is some false expression here. We can return, but since this return, it doesn't get to it, we can have more than one return. We can put another return here and it will be okay. Yeah, but I cannot check it because uh, he knows that false is always false and it will never get here, but this could be more complex. You can have variables, whatever, great, and then whatever else and this for could be dynamic they can come from parameters and it can be false or true here if it's true it will return here if else it will return here 